In this video, we'll be learning about ChatGPT and Excel and how to automate some of the boring, boring. Tax, Excel tasks using um, ChatGPT. So let's assume that we have, um, for instance, lots of um, files reflecting different months. And then you're hoping to compute the, um, the sales figures for each manager, same managers, but for different months, you are doing either quarterly or say um, biannually or annual um, computations. So you want to, to, to get all their data from each of these months into one, one specific Excel file and then work from there. Manually, what you would have done is that, or is it manually, what one is likely to do is open each of these files individually and then copy the files from there, copy the data from there, for instance, like this, and then paste it into one main um, Excel workbook. So you keep you keep on doing that, and assuming you have lots and lots of files, you know, perhaps I mean 900 there about. That's a lot of work to do. Um, trust me. So, which are what are some of the easy ways to automate some of these um, activities and then make life easy for you? We could use ChatGPT, which is um, an artificial intelligence uh, tool. It's still under under um, development, so they are welcoming feedback as much as possible. So create your account and then um, just get started. It's as simple as that. Link is in the description if you haven't um, already um, tried it. So what you normally do is try to engage the AI as you would um, a friend. When you are, say, talking to a friend and asking for help, you would be a bit, you'd be more specific with your request. So this is the work that we are trying to do. We are trying to um, get data in, in as in copy data from each of these um, work Excel workbooks for each month. And then we're gonna paste it into one main file. So in a similar manner, let's just um, work with that. Okay, so this is it. So assuming in a, in a, in a normal manual way, you don't want to write a VBA script that will copy columns A, B, and C without the first row from all from all Excel files in a certain folder, and then paste it in the open Excel file, one below the other, while in each row in column D, write the name of the file from where it was copied from. This is quite straightforward, quite simple. So let's see if um, ChatGPT will understand this and help us get this um, sorted in terms of writing a VBA script. Okay. Okay, so he says here's an example of a script that will copy blah 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 as I've put um up there. So let's see how it, how it um it works. This is amazing, honestly. This is quite quite interesting. All of this being done for me, something I would have done um, all by myself. If you are a newbie, um, imagine having to start all by yourself learning VB, VB script. But with this tool available, it's quite easy. Okay, so now let's see. All right, let's go on to copy code. Let's come to our Excel document. I'll close this VB script. Come in here, you press Alt F11, it should open this for you. So now we have our, let me close this, remove this model, no, let's start afresh. So we come here, Excel objects, we come to insert model, this is it. Now let's paste what we have from chat GPT. Now the path needs to be updated, so I'll go into my folder where all my Excel workbooks are stored. The copy in the path and then come into chat GPT. Oh, sorry, um, not chat GPT. I come into my model or my VBA scripts that I'm creating. I paste the path in here. It's very, very important to include a backslash here to enable your path to work properly. So 
okay so this is it let's see if everything has worked the way it should in terms of yep here we go so as you can see everything is um, working the way you should can we tell chat GPT to um, let's see script to populate the empty rows in column D for each import okay so let's see how that also works so it's updating the code for us and the essence for this question over here is that I don't want to see empty um, spaces here for each of these rows let's see if it's able to populate these um, for me as well to make my work easy knowing that each of these is coming from a specific month let's see what has been done so far and I really appreciate the way it's commenting each line of code so you understand what the logic there is really about and for you to understand what has been done in terms of what code you are actually going to use kudos to the team behind this well done Okay, All right. thank you so much for the tip over the, the advice given. All right, let's come back in here. Come back to our update all of this. I've replaced the whole code with the new one given to me by ChatGPT. Let me copy my path, update that as well. Come in here, I'll leave the, the last backslash there. And then that's it, I will now have to update my Okay, so it's running. Okay, it's done running. Now, as you can see, everything has been well, it kind of continued the work, <laughs> the initial um, script bit. Well, it makes it makes sense anyway. Um, May this from May from April. Pro. Okay, so this is what um, has been brought in for me. Why is this here? Let me clear everything here. Well, let me just go in and ask Chat GPT why that is the case. Okay, so now let's see what um, there are no well, sorry, there is there are no records in the last row for columns A, B, and C, but data in column D. What is the case?
Okay, all right. So as you can see, this is very, very intelligent. It's, it's actually doing quite a lot of work, saving me the, the hassle of having to reason and then trying to do lots of manual work. So think of you doing some data quality <laughs> checks, okay? Um, you can actually use ChatGPT to help you discover bugs, discover why some things are not matching. And I'm hoping that in subsequent videos, we could do some um, comparisons, we could do some, some different um, tables and then see if it's able to determine why some numbers are not matching or at least, you know, all, all when it, we, are, we are doing real analysis and then we need to really, we need to check to ensure that our numbers are matching, our data is as accurate as possible. I think ChatGPT can, can, can save a lot of headache with what I'm seeing so far. So well done to the team. You are doing great. And this is um, a game changer. So very good to know that there's a tool like this out there that can help um, us in doing so much more. Sorry, this um, video is getting longer and longer. I'm hoping we are all learning from this process. This time around, I will delete everything from here. Okay, let's just leave it as it is and then see what it does this time around. whether it's fixed or not. Okay, now it's fixed, which means we have our we have the problem solved. So now you've seen the power of chat GPT. I'll delete all of these and then start afresh and see if um, yep, he's doing it. He's doing it for me. He's doing it for me. Can we go the extra mile and ask it to remove the extension from column D in terms of the dot XL SX? Let's see. XLSX. Can we remove the extension? Okay. Let's get the extensions removed from the script so that we have our values in there. So imagine you're doing, um, you're importing lots of data from different places. You can actually get you can actually write codes. Well, I'm sure now with what you've seen, the possibilities are endless with all that you can do with ChatGPT in, uh, in enhancing um, your work or making you more efficient in using Microsoft Office Excel. Okay, so now let's update this. Come here, copy, update our path. Don't forget that. Be mindful of our last backslash. Okay, I'll just leave that in there and then continue. Yep, as you can see, the work has been done for us. No extension has been imported in our updated script. So as you can see, this is our updated script. This is the one before that. 
which is quite interesting. This is very very interesting, and um, so yeah, this is, these are these are this is one of the ways that you can actually use ChatGPT to improve your productivity um, when you are using uh, Microsoft Office Excel. So hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you have any questions, if you want us to explore different ways of using Excel, please um, leave a comment in there and then let's um, have a chat. Let's all learn. Let's all make progress. Let's all collaborate. Let's learn something new. So thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe and um, subscribe to encourage me to produce lots of um, other interesting content. Thank you.